Jackie's sitting over here behind the pond. She's been here for a couple of hours. She's, she looked like she was in labor with a lot of muscle movement, trying to move an egg. This would be egg number 24 for Jackie. Since she started laying, she's had, uh, she laid five, and a snake got them, then she laid five more, and a snake got them, and then she laid six, and a snake got them. Now there's seven in the nest, that make 23, and she's now trying to pass number 24. But the labor that she looked like she was in trying to pass seems to have passed. So I'm a little worried about her. It's her nest over here. And her seven babies are in there now. Her eggs. Waiting for her. For some reason, she couldn't get to the nest for this last one. This last baby. She's getting up now. I guess I've disturbed her. It's been a couple hours, there's no sign of real trying to pass this egg. She's getting a little perturbed with me. She's getting, yeah, you can see her head. Making the, the go away sign. I don't want to leave her because if she's got an egg unpacked in there that needs to come out, then she may need some help. This is a wild duck. This is a mandarin. But she's been in, she was born in captivity, and she's been my duck for three years. She was about a year old when I got her. Almost four. Or she's about four. She's a very sweet duck, although if there's more ducks than just her and her mate, she get very do dominant, even with her babies after she's raised them. When they get to be teenagers, she's ready for them to get their own life, but she's the greatest mother. She had several last year. and was very successful in raising them. The five that survived. That's her mate Prince in the background. He's beginning to molt. He's lost his sails that are usually on his back. Beautiful sails, they're gone. And once he's completely eclipsed into uh, after his summer molt, he'll look like her, and they won't mate anymore. And actually, they should be about through about finished mating now. You can see that her abdomen is distended. And I think she'd really like to be done with this. I don't want to interfere and let's just have to. She doesn't appear to be in any distress. She was laying down for a couple of hours. Now she's up drinking her water. I'm very attached to this little girl duck. Prince is new. He's he's a, a, a young adult. A lovely year old. He came from North Carolina.
She's very protective of her. If you notice, he just ruffled her feathers just a little bit there, probably to get a bug off of her. He has sat by her through this whole thing, and Mandarin mate, Mandarin's mate, only one mate, and that's their mate for life until something happens to one or the other of them. And then they'll, this actually Prince is her third husband. And the others died due to predators. And it's just a part of life. We do our best to protect them, but animals are usually smarter than we are and find a way. I think most predators I've managed to keep out now and we've been predator free for a while so hopefully and I have three traps set out now so live traps and they're working I'm watching her, I don't know, I don't see the action I was seeing earlier of her having these contractions. She seems to have stopped having them. That's concerning, because there's an egg in there, and if she was having contractions, she should have expelled it, but she hasn't. So I'll be watching her throughout the day. And make sure she doesn't get into an emergency situation where I have to help get the egg out because you can't really domesticate wild ducks. They they trust you if you, they see you every day, but they don't trust you enough to walk up and pick them up unless you have really spent the time that it takes to bond with them, but they take their bond between themselves pretty seriously and they don't really like letting people in much. I'm gonna end this clip now and we'll be doing updates.